I'm only letting you and your brother work here because Finn put in a good word. I need your word that you'll keep all this to yourself. You can trust us. Jake, what if he has those powers for a reason? Maybe it's our job to help him too. How are you two gonna get to Mexico? Daniel can open that safe with his eyes closed. No way. Too dangerous for Daniel. Did you see Ben? He was with Daniel, but now I can't find him. What the fuck are you doing here? Don't move. Tell me what happened in that farm in Humboldt. The place looks like a tornado wiped it out. Plus two seriously wounded, along with you. And a missing child. Tomorrow you're going to Jolina Shore and you'll be arraigned in court for the murder of a Seattle police officer. Wait. Daniel's with Jacob somewhere? Haven Point, Nevada. I gotta get to him. Faith is not just a word, my brothers and sisters. Welcome our newest member and our latest miracle, the Angel Daniel. Praise you, Daniel. Behold this miracle. Hi. Oh, uh, um, hi. I saw you out in that parking lot earlier. Yep, that was me. I like to be here too. We can see the whole room, and it's where our reverend mother teaches us classes. <coughs> Whoa. Oh my god. You okay? Need some water? Uh, and no, sorry. I'm just kind of sick. Oh, that sucks. Uh, that's too bad. <coughs> Damn, she's really sick. She dropped her whole stack of books. Hey, what happened to your eye? Well, oh my God, everyone's gonna be asking story. me that. That's okay. My name is Sarah Lee. What's yours? Hello, Sarah Lee. My name is Sean. Good to meet you. By the way, can I ask you, you something? Are Daniel's brother? Really? He's always talking about you. Hey, uh, <gasps> not too loud. Oh my God. Yes, I'm Daniel's brother, but I need some help. The Reverend Mother says we always have to help our neighbor. What okay. do you need? Well, um, what is Daniel? Okay, okay. What is this place? I feel like, I mean, it's just a town, a church in a town. Who's your Reverend? We could ask that. We could definitely get some juicy info about that. What is Daniel doing here? Take me to Daniel. Honestly, I want, I want to go to Daniel. So, can you take me to Daniel? Oh, yes. He's gonna be so oh happy when he sees you. He missed you so much for his birthday. It will be like a late surprise. I'm so nervous. Daniel, you're the living proof of their faith. And mine. I know you understand. I guess, I mean, Sean? <gasps> oh my. Sean, you came back. Oh. I knew it. You've grown up in Anna. Do I look older? What? What happened to your eye? Don't worry. It's okay. Did that happen at the farm? Because of me? I'm um. so sorry. <laughs> Oh. I'm sorry. Damn, I could literally said I warned you. <laughs> Holy sh Oh my god. I mean, technically, logistically, it's his fault. But I actually blame Finn for getting us into the situation. I'm just going to say it's the past. It's over, Daniel. You just got to walk on. Does it hurt? No. <laughs> Not as much as your haircut. Oh, shut up. <laughs> it's different. I kind of like it. Sean, I didn't want to leave you there. Nothing I could do. I was so scared. I even thought you were dead. And... It's okay. Not the tattoo. Not the tattoo. Yes. So... How did he get here? I'm so... I have so huh? many questions. I... We still need to go to Puerto Lobos. But 
We don't need to. We have a new home now. Look. One step at a time, Daniel. Give Sean a chance to process this. I'm sure this is all so overwhelming. By the way, my name is Elizabeth Fisher. We all prayed for your safe return. Sean, you must be a believer now in our Lord, too. Oh, um, yikes. How do we get all caught up in this? Damn, I really have so many questions. I want to know how we got here so badly. Um, I don't know what the hell to say to her. Both of these are like no's, to be honest. Kind of. Not really. I don't want to, I think I'm just going to say kind of. I don't want to come off a, like really, really negative walking up in here, but. Mm, kind of. Daniel told me you had faith. That's how you got here. But first, I uh, need Sarah Lee and Daniel to grab the medicine kit. We have to take care of our new guest. This is a place of healing. Aww. Let's do it later. I want to talk to him now. Daniel? Now. Okay. Oh my Reverend god. Mother. Who's Go, acting like his Hold mother? On. Well, Sean. Oh my it's god. It's a pleasure to meet you. This is a real blessing today. You were away from Daniel for quite a while. I was in a coma. Of course. <laughs> I wasn't judging you. <laughs> Sounded so like it. what is your plan, Sean? This is a blessed family. And it would be good for Daniel to have you by his side. You should know that the Lord has big plans for him. What is she even saying? For real, what is she even saying? I mean, really, God or you? Damn, we could come at her hot with that. Um, I don't really want to stay here. I really don't want to stay here. But... Am I supposed to tell her my plan? Because I feel like I shouldn't tell her my plan. Because, I don't know. Well, is she going to get the cops involved if we leave here? Uh, maybe I should come on strong. God or you? God, of course. Okay, well, I'm his family. I'm his family. Two young boys are not a family. Mark 3, 25. That's in the Bible? If a house is divided oh, against is. itself, okay. <laughs> that house cannot stand. Daniel sounds more like a prisoner than a guest. It saddens me that you see things that way. After everything I've done for him. I know why you're scared, Sean. That's because your heart's full of sins. I know what is she saying? about that poor man you beat down back in Washington, Sean. This is a terrible sin. And until you make penance for it, I can't accept you here. What? What? Are you serious? Not us having the same reaction. I'm sorry, my son. I'm not your son. And Daniel isn't going to be your golden cow. Daniel, come on. Why don't we ask him what he wants to do? Do not touch me. Oh, my God. What the fuck? What did you do? Nothing. Enough. You spilled blood in the Lord's home. Sean, what happened? Your brother came in here. Dude, pure, what? Acting like a criminal. But he... How did that happen? Daniel. I'm sorry, Sean. She's right. <gasps> I will pray for you. Oh my God, what when, is going on? When you're ready, we can. She's trying to manipulate you. Let me lead you to the one true light that oh, never no. goes out. I want to be your friend. You're crazy. Let's get out of here, Daniel. <gasps> I want to stay. Just go. There's your answer, Sean. What We're is happening? Again. So we can go, right? Come on. Get off me, dude. What? <clears throat> Daniel, <coughs> let me go, <laughs> asshole. <laughs> Daniel! They're not your family. Stop it. You just need to have faith. We're what just away. happened? Daniel, it's okay, Sean. Sean. Daniel! There you go. 
Satisfied? Now don't you ever come back! I'm literally in shock. I'm literally in shock that all that just happened from literally two choices that I made. Oh my god. Get up or do nothing. These are so vague. I don't even know what these are actually suggesting. Like, is get up being aggressive? And do nothing is being submissive? I'm not gonna, dude, I, I don't know. I'm honestly in shock. We barely even touched that woman and she got a nosebleed. I just don't get what's going on. Come on, kid, don't make me do this. You're not gonna win. <sighs> You're pissing me off. This is private property. I have a legal right to stop any intruders. Not her slamming her face on the ground so she I gets a bloody nose. just want my brother. But he doesn't want you. He was brought here, and this is where he's staying. Next time, I will not hesitate to use this. Get out of here. Daniel, hey! Bro, why is it, okay, why is he doing this? Daniel. Sean? Who's that? Can You won't get him back. Oh my God! <gasps> Let's go. The mom? I'm freaking the f out. Oh my god, what? <laughs> no way, why is she here? Jacob. He said you were missing. And that Daniel needed help. I believed him. Hmm. <laughs> so you finally decided to check on him. You know, Sean, sooner or later, we're gonna have to talk. Bro, I'm freaking out. Where are we even going? I already have a hotel room. You're gonna need to rest and clean that dressing. I'm freaking the out the mom I'm stressed I have so many questions. Oh my God. Man, didn't clean the pain away, but that felt good. Oh my God, I'm freaking out. Okay, Karen's stuff. I can't believe her name's Karen. Karen seems to be on the move quite often. You look bad. Gotta change that dressing soon. Yeah, four times a day. We gotta be cleaning this shit, and we're definitely not doing it. So I'm a little bit worried about this eye. Where is Wonder she? Wonder how long Karen has been here. Did she see one of Daniel's 
Miracles. Oh, roadmap. Let's look at this. This country is just way too big. Oh, never mind. <laughs> um, Karen's bag. Keychain. Kind of pretty. Wonder if she made it. I have so many questions, you guys. I really do. I just want Karen to come back so we can talk. Let's look in her I bag. know I shouldn't peek, but. <gasps> Condoms. Okay, Whatever. Karen. Glad to know she learned the lesson. Damn it. I don't like finding condoms in my mom's bag. There's something just... There's something off about that. Damn. <gasps> Karen does like to capture the world around her. What is this? Kind of like nothing. Um, okay, let's get out of here. Church flyer. So Karen did check it out. Yeah, so we already saw this. Wonder if she saw Daniel in action. Hmm. Oh, Karen's note. Be okay. right back. We'll find out. Popped out for supplies. I'll grab some food in case you want to eat. New t-shirt and shorts in the bathroom. All yours, if they fit. Might be a good time to contact Jacob. His number is on the letter he sent. Be right back, Karen. Jeez. It only took Supermom eight years to give a shit. Okay, I can't read this one. Dear Miss Diaz, my name is Jacob. I worked with your son, Sean and Daniel, on a farm in California. <laughs> on a farm. Just a farm. There were some problems and Sean went missing. I'm with Daniel now in Haven Point, Nevada. He gave me this P.O. Box address, so if you get this, I think Daniel might be in danger. He needs help to get out of here. I can tell you more if you contact me at this number, 777-whatever. Please hurry. Everyone call this number right now, 775-555-0118. Um, just kidding. Don't do that. I'm so confused. So did Jacob bring Daniel here? Because, okay, so if you guys remember, Jacob shared a story around the campfire of how he was like in a really religious town and it was like kind of like abusive and stuff like that. Basically he just shared his story of his negative experiences in the church, in this town. So why did he bring Daniel here? I don't understand why he brought Daniel here, if that's what happened. I don't know, I mean, I guess we should call him and like talk to him. Um, do we have a phone? Oh, tablet. Huh, this isn't her tablet. Oh, what does it say? Struggles with too many open apps, but should be okay for basic browsing. Password is blah, blah, blah. Hope you find your son. Should we use this? One, one, two, seven, oh, eight. Yay, technology. She came prepared. Oh my God. Oh, so she's like on this. Get, get me out of this. Reverend mother doesn't look too humble. Uh, I'm not reading all that, but congrats, I guess. Or I'm sorry that happened. Looks like a roach motel. But Is this where we're at? Nobody like, will find me there. Look at these reviews. Nice pool, but dusty as f <laughs> Oh, here's the phone. We can use the phone to call what's his face. Jacob. Is there anything else we need to look at? Oh, we could use this phone too. Karen was always into low tech. I even think it's the one she had back then. Oh, never mind. I guess we can only use the other one. Sweater. We've come a long, long way. <laughs> the squad sweater. Never forget. Okay. Let's call Jacob. Oh, I'm nervous. Jacob, it's me, Sean. Sean? No way. I've been waiting to hear from you for months. So you, you found my note in your sketchbook? Yeah. Where are you? You have to come here, Sean. I know. I'm not far. In a motel. Listen, I, I can't talk right now. I gotta go. Wait! Daniel, how's he doing? Meet me tomorrow afternoon on Brandy Highway. There's a, a, a junction just above Haven Point. There's a, a, a wild mice ranch billboard there. I'll be there at four. Jacob, wait. I can't talk, Sean. Be there tomorrow. Please. Whoa. What is 
going on. That is so sus. Damn. He couldn't really talk. All this is so messed up. Sus. What's in the drawer? Oh, I'll take that. I'm just grabbing up everything today. Okay, so now what? When's Karen getting back? I'm not going out. Oh. Well, when's Karen coming Better back? Better wait for Karen in here. This place is quite remote. Good. At least nobody will be looking for me here. Okay. Her backpack. This thing is killing my back. I got bruises on my bruises. Where's my where's my eye medication? Where's my eye medication? What the hell? Damn, we're all the way over here? We're really off track. They took it? I wasn't sure if we got it back though because we got back the extra sketch that they took too. Damn it. Well, what the hell am I supposed to do now? Do I just rest or what am I supposed to do? Wait for Karen. <laughs> Literally wait for Karen. All right. Let's just rest while I wait for her. If she comes back. Hey. Ooh, she's back. Sorry it took so long. Fucking store was packed. I'm so excited to get all the dirty, dirty How beats. How you feeling? Nothing broken? Altar boys don't fight fair? Yeah. I'm okay. Double cheese. No onion, right? That'll do. Damn, like maybe 10 years ago, Karen. Got you some gauze and uh, antibacteria stuff for your eye. Mm. Hey, don't wolf that down. Or at least take a breath. Like you care. Sean. So hostile. <sighs> Come on, Karen. Don't act all hurt. It's too late. Where were you when I broke my leg when I was 13? Not with me. When Daniel got a bad flu a couple years ago, he didn't sleep next to him every night. Where were you? Where? Were you? Fair enough. So let's talk, because we do have to get your brother out of a cult. I'm listening. How did you two survive alone on the road for that long? Um. We, we got just some got help. lucky and got some help along the way. Total strangers. We even had our own little family. Good. How did you go to Beaver Creek? You know, I don't have to answer your questions, right? You're right. So tell me what you want from me, Sean. Nothing, Karen. I mean, what do you want from me? A fucking hug? Hey, I just want you to know what I did and why, if you care. I want to know. I'm so curious. So ask me anything. <gasps> OK. Oh my god. I'm going to say, why did you leave? All right. Why did you bail on us? I wasn't meant to be a wife or a mother. I thought I was supposed to. That's the answer? I tried to pretend for many years. But I wasn't happy. And the urge to leave just became unbearable. I had no other choice. Are you serious? You chose this life. You fell in love. You made your own choices. Right? Making your own choices doesn't mean you can never fool yourself, Sean. After I had Daniel, you were about eight, and Esteban's garage was getting busy. There was so much going on around me, yet somehow I just felt that my own life was just slipping away. Felt like an empty shell. Sean, it was the hardest decision I ever made. I knew I might never see you all again. But I took that responsibility. Damn, okay. I mean, at least she's brutally honest. Dad knew? I'm gonna say this. Did Dad know about all of this? 
I was honest with your father. We did family therapy, but it wasn't about him. It was me. I like how there's always like this really sassy answer. He was better than you. I'm, I'm not going to be too sassy, though. I just feel like whenever I'm like giving attitude, it doesn't end well for me. I gave attitude once in the church and I almost got killed. So <laughs> he was heartbroken for months after you left years. I was too. I was in love with your father. He was the best person I ever met. But just not enough for you. Something was missing from the equation. Yeah. I was. Okay, so now let's find out what she's doing here. So what exactly are you doing in Nevada? You live around here? No. I'm uh, way out in Arizona. Sean, I told you. Your friend uh, Jacob wrote my P.O. box and said Daniel was in trouble. Arizona? Question mark? Arizona? Holy shit. It's just lizards and rocks. <laughs> Guess I found something there. What? New York didn't really do me good, so... Yeah. Okay. I think I've heard enough. I didn't have a choice, Sean. We only have one life. And I didn't want mine to be spent in regrets. Damn. For years, I fooled myself. Thinking I'd find satisfaction into what society expected me to be. And that was my mistake. I hope someday you can understand that. But I never stopped caring about you. For what it's worth, I am sorry for hurting you and Daniel and Esteban. Damn. I mean, this is kind of interesting because I guess I could understand, but... Also, at the same time, like, she's completely abandoned her children. Also, I wonder why the grandparents don't like her either. She must have just abandoned her entire family. Like, it's just kind of odd, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, she dev could have called. She could have done anything. At least she's here now, I guess. But, yeah, I don't know. I think I'm going to say I'm not. I'm not. We were a real family. Without you. Well, Esteban was meant to be a father. I knew he would take care of you the way you deserve. Except he's dead. We've got no one left. Damn. There's the dusty pool. Sean, whatever you want to say to me, this is the time. Let's just get it all out in the open. See what happens. Damn, okay. I actually want to know why she ghosted us. Because that's a thing, like... I can understand most people's perspectives, but I don't know. She just did have two children. So I don't know. I feel like it's just kind of weird to completely ignore them. You know? I'm going to ask. I you. mean, I get you wanted to leave and stuff. Okay. But why would you ghost us like that? Not even a fucking birthday card. I just... I thought if I vanished, you would all move on. But I wanted to contact you guys so many times. I almost did. But you wanted a clean break from us. I didn't want to be a part-time, pissed-off mother. Not fair to any of you. I left when Daniel was still very young, so he wouldn't remember me. I feel like, yeah, she kind of did hurt him worse because he never got to, like, even know her. Cool plan, Mom. You hurt Daniel way worse. He thought you took off because of him. I know. I hope I can make it up to you, Daniel, someday. I could start by getting his ass out of that church. Cult. Whatever. What did you do? Like, what does that mean? Like, in the past 
10 years or whatever, I'm kind of so, on that desk. What did you do when you left? Where did you go? I pursued some dreams and failed. Learned the lessons. I guess all this time I tried to find out what really matters to Which me. Which doesn't involve a husband and two kids. It does to a lot of people. And I totally respect that. Just not to me. I wasn't good at making plans, which is what most of modern life is about, right? A school, job, marriage. Asked my mom and dad. They wanted me to follow their rules, their faith. Oh, I tried, but I wanted to find my own way, with no security blanket. Family, religion, social norms. It's just all about security, after all. But it all just looked like a sweet golden jail to me. I tried to escape that. Was it worth it? Yeah. Hope it was worth it. It was. Wow. Okay. For now, I've found my place in the world with like minded people. I'm at peace with my fuck ups and my decisions. How do you make peace with bailing on your parents, your husband? And your kids. I know, that's hard to understand. But I think people should know who they are. Not fake it for anybody. Alright, well I guess we'll ask the final question. So, did you ever actually miss us? Or dad? Of course, Sean. And I do miss your father. He had such a big heart. He could brighten up a rainy day. That was like his superpower. But above all, I miss watching you grow up. See how you saw the world. I miss sharing these moments with you, Sean. We used to do so much stuff. Like when you taught me to ride because Dad sucked. Or when we went camping near Vancouver. Just me and you. You always loved night skies. I did stargaze a lot when I was in California. Trust me, the further south you go, the better it gets. <laughs> Whatever. You sound so... careless. It's like you can't even realize how much pain you've caused. I do care. That's why I'm here. To help you and your brother. If I didn't step up to help him now, I couldn't live with myself. Alright, I need to know more about Daniel's situation now. Is she gonna give me one? I feel like maybe we could bond. I don't like smoking cigarettes, but... Oh, no, man. I didn't get the chance. Why, why is that option timed? <laughs> He didn't want me to die and bring me death. <laughs> Fuck. Life can be so cynical sometimes. I remember he would smoke sometimes. Long ago. We didn't fight much. But when we did, I would go out on the porch and light up so I could calm down. Esteban would come over and ask for a drag. And I would just look up at the sky and watch the stars. Or the planes. I do miss that. I used to do the same with my best friend Lila. Sitting on the porch. Just letting time go. That's when you know someone is good to you. When you can just sit together. <laughs> shut the hell up and watch the universe do its own thing. I like how there's an option in the bottom right that just says go back inside. I can choose to be really mad at her, I guess. I don't know. I I feel like I need her help in this situation. So that's the only reason why I'm not acting like more angry towards her. Just because I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get Daniel out of the church on my own because I already showed my face there and they hate me. And, and they are threatening me with a gun. So I feel like I need her help at this point. At least she was honest. I mean, she could have, like, lied and <laughs> Yeah, she does seem like she has no emotions, though. I agree. 
she seems a little selfish. Are we just supposed to watch this cutscene over and over and over again? <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> Let's go inside, I guess. We should go back inside. Oh, both of us, okay. I gotta change this dressing. Okay. Let's go. Oh, did she give me medical supplies? That's sweet. Does she even know that I, I'm missing an eye? Sean, I know I can't change the past. Or what I did. But this is about helping your brother. You gotta trust me this one time. Okay. I know. It's still hard. But yes. We have to be a team to rescue Daniel. We can do it. Okay. How? We need to get in touch with this Jacob. He obviously knows a lot more than us about the church. Well, I called him when you were out. We can meet with him tomorrow. Okay, good. I also got these, just in case. Whoa. Okay. Okay. Better take care of the eye. So, do you need any help with that? Honestly, ugh. I feel like we should just try and like work on this relationship now that she's here. I think I'm gonna say yes. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna be bitter. Yes. Thanks. So. You feel like telling me the story here? Is she gonna be jump scared? When we have time. Gotcha. Does she know how to do this? Is she crying? Try this on. Oh, she got us an eye patch. How do I look? <laughs> Great. Aww. Thank you, Karen. Big day tomorrow, so we should get some rest. Yeah. I'm ready to get Daniel. I'm nervous. I just got the chills. Whew. Sure he's gonna show up? He better. He promised. Well, if he doesn't find us, we'll find him. I can't believe how much crap you guys have been through. Makes me want to punch in the face each and every asshole that got in your way. Yeah. Good thing we got to meet amazing people, too. Life on the road is all about that. The sweet encounters. Hope I can see them again someday. Oh, you will. So tell me about Daniel. What's he like? Stubborn. <laughs> um... Little rascal. Hee hee hee. Um... I'm gonna say he's cool. He's a cool little kid. I just didn't want him to grow up so fast. It's good you were there for him. Is that him? Yep. Wait here. <gasps> oh my god. I'm freaking out. Okay. Okay. Sean! That's natural. What happened? Can you explain? Jake, I'm not mad, but you better explain everything. I didn't know where else to go. Listen, I, I saw Daniel come back to the camp that night. Like he was in shock or something. Then I heard all these sirens and... 
I got scared. I just, I packed a few things, I, I took a blanket from your tent, and we, we left together. I also kept the cash you made on the farm. Uh, it's in my car. Is he gonna give it back? Well, I guess he didn't steal it, because it's in his car. Should I say you did right? I think I'm gonna say that. You did right, Jake. Thank you. You have no idea what he looked like when I found him that night, Sean. He was in bad shape, with a gunshot wound, and all by himself. I, 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 I couldn't just leave him there. <sighs> okay, but I just don't understand why he came back here, so I'm gonna ask that. So, you came back here after you escaped, but with a dazed little boy, and everybody was cool with that? Trust me, it was not an easy thing for me to come back. And, yeah, they took us in. That's what they do here. They take people in. Except they didn't want to take me in yesterday. I'm telling you to be careful with the Reverend Mother. She's waited her whole life for somebody like Daniel. The Reverend knows how to manipulate people. She's good at this. He wants to stay with her. Daniel has faith in the Reverend now. <sighs> you did nothing? Did you even try to stop her? Sean, stop it. Whoa, he's being aggressive. Why did you think I wrote to your mother? Ugh, come on. There's no way they're gonna let you take him away. Well, too bad. We're not gonna ask for their permission. You must be Jacob. I'm Karen. <laughs> okay, <Hi>. Karen. <laughs> okay. I don't know if you want to do this, <laughs> but I, I have an idea. I think school must be over by now. But Lisbeth will stay at the church with Daniel for his special classes. That'll give us time to sneak into the compound before we get to them. I'll be on the lookout. Keep watch in case it all goes to shit. Sean, stay on the walkie. Sounds like a plan. One more thing. I, uh, we have to get my sister too. Sarah Lee. <laughs> really, Jacob? Come on, man. She's with your parents. I know. Please, listen, Sean. She's not safe here. She's sick. They believe in everything Lisbeth says. And she says she'll cure Sarah with prayers. I know you understand, right? Damn, Jake. We need his help too, Sean. Okay, Jake. I'm listening. Lisbeth knows what's wrong with Sarah Lee. We just, we need to find her medical record. I think it's in her home office. Then I'll go get Sarah Lee while you get Daniel. Okay? Damn, that's a town. Do you see that? Sure. sure. I'm gonna trust you on this, Jacob. Small as hell. All good for you, Karen. What if Daniel won't go with you? He will. I know him. Will he? We already tried to take him last time. I don't get why we're so confident about it this time around. And is he gonna give my money back? I didn't say the you stole my money option because he said he was like keeping it in his car, so I assumed he's gonna give it back, but we just kinda glazed over that. And I want it back. It was a lot of money. Are we doing this right now? Holy sh Oh my god. Not the walkie-talkies. Karen? I'm in place. I can see the whole camp. Let me know if you need anything. Okay. Be careful, Sean. Got it. Thanks. We gotta be careful now. If anything happens, let me do the talking, okay? Yeah, of course. Let's get this over with. Okay. Elizabeth's house is right behind the church, so in and out. Okay. And you sure Lisbeth will have those files on your sister? Watch out, Sean. There are people right outside. Bruh. Oh, shit. How many? Just three. A man with his kid on one side, and a woman alone on the other. Got it. Thanks. People aren't supposed to come and go around the church once the service is over. Better to avoid them if we can. 
Bro, okay, wait. Am I supposed to follow him? Or am I supposed to go my own way? So, did you grow up out of here? Why are we having small no. talk? In another community back east. When Elizabeth came out here to start Haven Point, my folks followed her and brought me along. Hmm. Must have been hard on you. Kinda. Eight-year-olds don't want to go to church all day. Um, there's people right there. Um... I'm gonna go this way. Oh wait, there's someone right there too. Where are we going? Oh. Come on. Well, hello, young hackerman. What are you doing here? Oh, uh, hi. We're just... You know you're not supposed to wander around the church once the service is over. We weren't done yet. Sorry, we're, uh, we're in a rush. Oh, I was supposed to stay and listen? Guys, I'm not gonna lie, I'm so confused what the f I'm supposed Sean, to do right what now. What are you doing? Do you want us to get caught? No, I don't know what we're doing. Sorry, I wasn't really thinking. <laughs> Where are we going? Can we go this way? I know I'm supposed to sneak in, but I'm just confused because he doesn't move unless I move. So I'm like, where the fuck? Like, why is he not doing his own thing? Okay, I'm just gonna go in here. Can't believe Daniel really lives in this depressing house. Okay. Okay. I just, I hope they're not onto us. Let's haul ass. Where are the files? Right there, in her office. Ugh. Of course it's locked. Her open door speech is just another lie. We gotta find a way in. Fuck. Think there's a key somewhere? Maybe she's too cautious not to have a spare set around. Um, okay. <sighs> Whoa. Damn. This is so artless. Are you okay, Jake? Yeah. Yeah, no. It, it's just so full of memories and stuff is he having trauma right now okay so we made it um i guess i'm gonna look around for a key there's like nothing i can really oh what's this oh okay like where did he come from he just pushed me right out of the way and i thought claire and steven were old-fashioned never mind that was nothing can you stop pushing me coaxing lesson one Get Daniel his favorite cereal. Ooh. They are manipulating. Chores list. Whoa. This place is worse than army camp. Oh my god. Daniel's doing all these chores? Make bed every morning. Clean dishes after meal. Vacuum hall. Room weekly. Take out trash Monday. Wash hair every two days. Help with Sunday laundry. Count your blessings. Must be a way to break it. Hmm, okay, so we're gonna look for a way to break it. Um, Evenings in here must be so much fun. Look. Confide and convince? 15 steps to a good speech. <laughs> yeah, nice read for a saleswoman. Okay, let's go in down this hallway. Anything over here? Ooh, fire extinguisher. We could use that, maybe. Mm. Might be enough to open that door. Okay. Uh, let me explore my options. Scissors? Daniel's haircut makes much more sense now. Okay, not scissors. Pills. This is a lot of pills. Especially for someone who doesn't believe in science. Tea. That might be our only option, but I just want to look around just in case there's more than one option. Oh, uh, nothing here. Awkward. Awkward. <laughs> Religious icon. Mm. <sighs> nothing interesting. Sean, is everything all right in there? Uh, yes. We're trying to get into her office. She's locked it. Okay. What the? 
Oh, She's what is this? She's completely obsessed with his power. Daniel tired after using gift. Nothing gives him energy after. A new diet? He acts on his own. Scripture won't impel him. More prayer, more study. Daniel pouty today after lesson. Spare the rod and spoil the child. Not yet. Must show grace. Trust in the Lord. I did cry today watching the miracles. This child must be a vessel. What will he deliver on to us and when? Okay. Maybe we can find the keys and we don't have to break the door. Oh, shit. Looks like the Reverend Mother got to this letter before Jake. Oh. This is from Karen. Jacob, thank you so much for telling me about Daniel. I'm on my way to Haven Point now. Please let Daniel know without getting him. Are you in trouble that his family has not forgotten him? I don't know where Sean is, and I hope we can find him too. I hope the best for you, and if you need anything, do not hesitate to ask for help. I'm there. How did she get this? How did she get this? It's like in this drawer. <gasps> Key! Okay. I found a key. Good. Let's try it. Okay. Let me look around more, though. Don't see anything of interest. Cigarettes. There's more drawer. Whoa. They kicked her out of church? Now they're thirsty. Damn. Okay. What's this drawing? What a great fucking family bullshit. What the hell is this, Daniel? What the hell is this? What's in here? Is this Daniel's room? Oh, it is Daniel's room. Yeah. Man. It's depressing. Well, Elizabeth doesn't believe in material possessions, so. Doesn't mean you need to decorate your house like a prison. Is she forcing him to do this? Why is he accepting all that? What the hell is this, Daniel? What is going on? What's this letter? Oh, shit. People are really all over his power. So much for secrecy. Oh my god. They're obsessed with Daniel. They're obsessed. Everyone call this shit. number. Everyone call this number. People are really all over his power. So much for happy birthday, Daniel. Finn's bracelet. Wow, I really was replaced. No matter what happened, I guess Finn was a real friend to Daniel. Wait, what's in the trash can? Papers. What is this? Daniel Fisher? Oh no. No, they that's total bullshit. Changed his last name? I mean, obviously, maybe not actually, but oh my god. Fisher? What the hell? What are these drawings? This is quite the change from Power Bear and Friends. What the hell? 100% Jesus, the bottom right one. <laughs> what the hell? Okay, what's in this door? There's so many doors. <sighs> Locked, of course. Let's try the key for this one before we go to the other door. Shit. Maybe it opens the other door. Yeah, okay. Let's go try the other door. Okay, try the key. Yes. Yes, let's That's go. The oh, perfect. Whoa. Is this her personal archive or something? Yeah. She keeps track of everything in here. Stuff about my sister must be in this one. Okay, I've got something. Must be what you're looking for. Damn. She has pneumonia? And for what I get, Lisbeth knows damn well she needs medical treatment. That's criminal. She's insane. Look. She has a file on you, too. You can take a peek and see how she really treats her flock. Man, what's all this? Were you, like, sick? Conversion therapy? 
Did they... Wanted to cure you from... being... Gay. Pretty much. I always showed more interest in boys than girls. <laughs> they thought I was a freak. A sinner. Is that why you... ran away? Yep. <laughs> Took me five years to understand what was up. I was too wow. scared. Confused. I really did believe I was a sinner, so I thought I had to atone for my sins. What sins? Atone? For what sins? I don't get how they can preach this kind of crap. I mean... You met Finn and everyone. Are they sinners then? Of course not. I, I just didn't know different, Sean. I believed them. Damn, Jake. After a few years, I was in a really bad place. I, I tried to hurt myself. Elizabeth was very upset. We had a long chat. She told me I should leave. Go see the world and figure things out. I, I don't really get her, Sean. But Elizabeth does believe in all of this stuff. I had no clue about your life here. I'm sorry, Jake. I'm sorry I brought Daniel here. I was just so blown away when I saw what he could do. It was like a real miracle. No. I, I thought I'd, I'd found my faith again. <gasps> Instead, no I, way. I just heard him. Wow. I mean, damn, I feel really bad for him, but he thought he found his faith again. Let's just make this right. Then I'm let's make things right. Pretend like I didn't hear that. We just have to get Daniel out of here. I hope so. And I'll get my sister to a hospital, have her treated. I hope they'll help her. Definitely better here than yeah. here. Anything would be better than here. Right. I just hope they can still cure her. Sean, are you there? What's up? You got company. <gasps> that thug who works for Elizabeth. A woman just spoke with him. Now he's coming your way. This guy oh, is dangerous, Sean. Trust me. Hey, I have a good plan to get him out of your way. He'll give you more time. Just give me the word. Okay. Yeah. See what you can do. I will. Get ready. Sean, we gotta hide. Oh, oh no. Man. Are you telling me we have to get in the closet? Oh my god, I'm sorry, Jacob. Hurry up. Closet. Come on, Sean, we need to hide. I am hiding. Where is he gonna... Is he gonna hide? Man, if he finds us here, we're screwed. Bro. Do I need to tell him to hide? What? Wait, I'm sorry, but why is he not hiding? Do I have to t get out and tell him to hide? <laughs> why is he not hiding? <laughs> he will? No, I... Okay, he hid, he hid. Cool hiding spot, like he could have gotten the cupboard. Hey, I know you're somewhere in here. If I find you, mm. <gasps> oh my god, I'm freaking the f out. Huh? What? What the fuck is going on? Karen? Sean, do you think it's gotta be Karen? Oh. What's Karen doing? He's gone. Let's get out of here. What is she doing? All right, let's get out of here. Man, that was crazy. I really thought he was going to catch us. Come on, the guy's leaving. What did she do out there? Why was everyone screaming like that? Look at that. <laughs> Your mom is hardcore, Sean. Oh my god, Karen! I guess she is. Karen, wait the f <laughs> So we're all good now? I'll Our get while you get Daniel. Karen! Then let's meet up at the car, okay? <laughs> Alright. 
<laughs> she said, I have an idea. Good luck. <laughs> Let me set the whole building on fire. Oh my god, okay. We gotta go in the church now. Everyone's freaking out about Come that in, building Karen. on fire. See anything? No, you're all clear. Awesome. Dude, Talk later. Karen! Oh my. How did it get that big? That Holy Karen! It got huge and fast. Let's go through the back door. Locked. All right, never mind. So we'll have to go to the front. Holy shit, I'm not over it. Karen really did some damage. Well, it worked. <laughs> Who's that? Is that Karen? Oh, okay. Karen, are you coming? Mission accomplished? Yep. Okay, I'm now going the hard to part. Did you find what Jacob needed? Okay. So you know what you're gonna do? No. But let's do it. Oh, she's coming. That might oh, work to help get Daniel. Let your power speak through this young vessel. I am your humble Sean, servant and will obey what the hell your is this? every command. <laughs> speak to me. Karen doesn't speak. know. I told you, he's, he's kind of special. Hey. Sean! You came back? And I know. Little cub, come with me, Daniel. We're leaving. I'm sorry, Sean. I can't. She's full of shit, dude. And she's using you. Daniel has made his choice, Sean. But I'm offering you to join us again. Put your faith in me, and you'll be family. Never. So that's your final decision. May the Lord have mercy on your lost soul. It's time for you to leave our sanctuary right now. Not without my brother. I'm not going anywhere. Is Carrie gonna this say is anything? My home. She's she can my be family like, "This now. is my Daniel. I'm your mom." Listen, she's not your family. Sean, who is she? Our mother. Uh, she came here for you. Oh, praise the Lord! Another miracle at our church. Wonderful. <laughs> it's all right, Daniel. Go see her. I mean, she's right there. Uh-oh, she's don't getting jealousy. Afraid. Jealousy I, issues. Uh, I don't know her. Of course. I know. This is hard for you, my son. Stop calling him that. You're just manipulating him, you sicko. <laughs> That's in the eye of the beholder. But since you are his mother, let me ask you. How could you let your child wander alone in the wilderness? Where were you when Daniel was lost? Where? Listen, Daniel. I came here as soon as I found out you were here on your own. I'm not on my own. Children are a gift from the Lord. They are a reward from him. You were blessed with a divine gift. And you cast him out into the world. Who the hell are you? He might <laughs> have been his mother once. But when you abandoned him, you also gave up your rights. Isn't your God all about forgiveness? You have no idea what the Bible says. How can you pretend to care about these two children? You left them and your husband to seek out your base. How does she know Daniel. all this? Honey, she's trying to trick you. Please, think by yourself. You're smarter than this. Daniel, she's responsible for what happened to your father. You don't know anything. It was an accident. That's what this world is about. Accidents, injustice, pain. I'm just so sorry, Daniel. I know. I know how much I hurt you and your brother by leaving. I know that's not enough, but I hope we can talk about this together. That's what I've been trying to tell your brother, and I'm so glad he listened. You gotta trust us. She's using you 
for her selfish desires. Daniel, this time the choice is yours. Are you going to believe her or me? I am. Uh, I... That's right. You can't tempt Daniel from this garden. He'll stay with us. He's so manipulated. His true family. And we'll never leave him. Go to hell. Come on, Daniel. No! Oh! Holy shit. That seemed devilish. Reverend, honestly. That didn't okay? see holy, seem they holy. They're, they're heretics sent to desecrate our, our church. Okay. What now? Don't you understand? This is over, Sean. You have to talk to him. You can convince him, Sean. Oh my god. Fuck. I won't leave you, Daniel. Not here. Don't be so stubborn, Sean. Your brother chose his path. Your friend, Sara Lee, she's very sick. And Lisbeth won't take her to a doctor. What? She wouldn't do this that. This is pointless. Daniel knows who to trust. <laughs> not a real Christian! She's not a Christian! Um, I feel, fuck, I'm gonna say this one. Don't listen to her religious bullshit. You need to have faith in yourself, not in her. But you said heaven and God existed. Why are you lying? You are right. He's wicked, unfaithful. <sighs> okay, this is no place for you. Toxic community kicked out of church. I'm gonna say toxic. This, this is a toxic community. She's cutting everyone from the world, keeping things secret. And she wants to keep you to herself. It's better like that. At least I'm not hurting anyone anymore out here. You found your home here, Daniel. Don't let him trick you. Girl, oh my god. What would dad say? Your homework, the letter from Karen. Ooh, oh, this is tough, you guys. I really want to make the right choice. I will say I'm surprised him just seeing me with the mom isn't make... Here, I'm going to pause it because I'm really afraid it's going to like make me choose one. I'm surprised that him just seeing me with our mom isn't like changing his mind because he knows how much I like hated the mom. So the fact that I'm like even just here with her, I feel like he would be like, oh, shit. you know, maybe change his mind a little bit. I feel like out of these options, I want to say something about the letter or something about dad because mom and dad. Okay. What do you think dad would say if he saw us right now? He wanted us to stick together. I don't know. I want you to stay, but I'm not ready, Sean. Do you hear that? <gasps> oh my God, did Karen do that? You have done. Hey. Oh, Anna. the candles fell over, the candles fell over. Back off. <laughs> no one is gonna keep me away from you. I said, stop. <sighs> oh my God. Hello, are you looking at this, Daniel? He's being abusive. Don't. came all this way for you, and nobody will stop me. I'll even cross hell or whatever if I need- Ugh. Sean! He must learn. Damn. This is brutal, especially as we have an eye injury already. Listen. I did my best job to be a good brother. And I know I probably failed. I took you for granted. I put you in danger. And I'm sorry. Anyone gonna put that out? Don't listen to him. He, he left you just like that harlot did. Shut him up. He can hit me as much as he wants. I won't give up on you. Don't hit him. <clears throat> Don't let them do that, Daniel. <laughs> Damn. Hello, Daniel. If I could go back in time. Anyone gonna put I that won't... out? We'd be in our living room. Oh my God. In Seattle. Not my other eye. That would get us pizza and snacks, then pick the movie because we would always fight about it. And he always picked your movie. But I can't do that. 
All I can do now is fight. Quiet! What are you waiting for? We're the best team in Anu. <gasps> Stop so it! We have to keep going no. forward. What are you gonna do? Kill him! Please! He's my brother! You can burn down our church, but not our faith. Oh, no. Daniel knows you're telling the truth. Don't give up. Karen, you do something. Oh my god, is he gonna shoot me? Hello? Nothing. Nothing is gonna stop me, Daniel. We're brothers. I know. Dad always said our blood link was the most important thing. You know. Uh, please. Uh, stop. Uh, Leave him alone. It's making Daniel. Cringe. Listen to him. Stop! No matter what she does, I'll come right back, again, and again! <laughs> oh my god. I love you, Daniel. I do too. <laughs> she shut him up, now! Don't move, just stop! If you want to kill me, then do it! I'm not afraid. Do it! Shoot! Don't! Go ahead. What? Shoot me in the face. And live with me. No! Stop! <gasps> Daniel! Sean! Oh. I'm sorry. sorry. Someone get the gun. I'm scared. I was so confused. Thought she was someone else. Oh, it's right there. I'm sorry. Not the mom trying to get involved. <laughs> Sean, we need to get out of here. Now. Someone get the gun. Let's pick it up. Where did they go? Is that me? Is he burning alive over there in the corner? Do you see that? No. You started this fire. You will all burn in this hell. Oh my god, this bit is crazy. Let us go. Move it. But you won't leave this place. We can just Not shoot her. With me alive. Why is this chunk so much bigger than this chunk? Oh, okay, it's supposed to be split. Threaten Lizbeth or ask Daniel to get her out of the way. Should we threaten her? I'm going to ask Daniel to get her out of the way, I think. Open the door and then. Daniel, after all I did for you, you can still repent. I don't believe you anymore. Ugh. Oh my god! Oh my god, he literally f yeeted her out of the way. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my, not us burning this town to the f ground. Oh my god, we really caused chaos. We burned this whole city down. Oh my god. I have goosebumps. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I can never take back that haircut. Oh. The killers are escaping! In the background. They're escaping! She needs to get it together. Oh my god. Whoa. We all escaped. And the whole town is burning down. New love interest? Oh, we're parting wise. Never mind. This is crazy. I can't believe we're back with our mom. Where is the money? Where is the money? Did he ever give the money back? I 
almost died. Oh. Oh. Damn. That seems like it's the end. But there's another episode still. I wonder what happens in the finale. We're going to now go through all of my choices. That was a crazy f***ing episode. That was so good. You passed both vision tests. Oh, wow. I passed both of them. I thought I failed the second one. Only 31%. I'm built different. I'm just built different. You told Agent Flores the robbery was Finn's idea. 75% of us ratted Finn out. We really did. You escaped the hospital without hurting anyone. 57%. Let's go. You attacked Joey to escape the hospital? You convinced Joey to help you escape. I didn't even know those were options. That's actually crazy. You didn't talk to Finn, 40%. You talked to Finn and forgave him for what happened. Yeah, f***ing right, as if we would ever do that. As if we would ever do that. You broke Daniel's toy while taking it back from Chad. You didn't try to take the toy back and it didn't break. Oh, sick. So if I tried to take his toy back, I would have broke it. So I'm glad that I didn't try. You sang the song in Spanish, 42%. Look what was gonna happen if I didn't sing the song. You refused to sing the song and got beat up. That's what would have happened if I didn't sing the song. I know it was humiliating, but I, I knew we had to do it. You were not asked to sing a song. I mean, I wish I got that option. You got into Anton's truck, 90%. Okay, I'm actually surprised that more people didn't get into the truck. You didn't give money to the church, 68%. I mean, I'm glad we didn't after all that. What the f You cut the conversation short with Karen. You were hard on Karen. Overall, you tried to let Karen open up to you, definitely. 93%. I'm actually surprised more people weren't hard on her. It was kind of conflicted in the chat, I don't know. You smoked a cigarette with Karen. I wanted to do that, but I didn't get enough time. You stayed outside with Karen while she smoked, uh, 28%. You accepted Karen's help to clean up your wound, 76%. Most people did that. Damn, there's an option where Karen doesn't offer help. You got Nicholas suspicious when sneaking into Haven Point. Well, I really fucked up there. I honestly didn't know what I was supposed to be doing there. 42%. Oh, I could have shared my money with Jacob. I didn't give any money to him though. <laughs> I, guess I, I guess I did keep the money. Maybe he did give it back. I don't remember ever getting it back, but 47%. You managed to hide from Nicholas. Nice. 68%. Oh, sick, okay. Here were the final options. I could have either shot Lizbeth while Daniel wasn't hurting her. Uh, I could have let Daniel unleash his power on Lizbeth while he was hurting her. Damn. Or shot Lizbeth while Daniel was hurting her, which is really similar to the first one. But instead we spared her life, which to be honest, I did want to kill her. I did want to kill her. But I guess I picked the most popular option, so that's fine. I hope you guys liked that episode. That was my favorite one for sure so far. But I am really excited for the finale. I honestly have no idea what the finale is gonna even be about, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I will see you next time for the final episode.